Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. Tonight I had a handful of uh, chocolate-covered little coffee beans, and man, those things are addictive. But I admit they kind of make it, uh, you know, difficult to talk. So just had a little wash it down. And I don't know how many of you like those or had them, but if you're a coffee fan, oh man, they're the best little things I get at Starbucks. Any little bags, but getting into today's news, uh, Brazil, the Mercado Libre will allow the use of cryptocurrencies in Brazil through its digital wallet. Just pointing out the headline of how it's getting more and more all over the world, all over the globe, that we're getting into this where it's it's just common talk now. It's not even like anything you really got to research. Now there's just so much news. You just got to keep up with it as well. City plans to hire 100 staffers for beefed up crypto division Banka has also named punit sinjivi as head of digital assets for its institutional clients group starting december 1st and then here was an article that i found pretty interesting and if you've ever used eth and been frustrated with the fees i think you're going to want to hear this little story i'm going to get into it just a bit because i think it's very critical because even more so of who it is and how and basic their position so crypto billionaire abandons ethereum and here is why three arrows capitals suzu has given up on ethereum and directly from his post right here that he tweeted yes i have abandoned ethereum despite supporting it in the past yes ethereum has abandoned its users despite supporting them in the past the idea of sitting around jerking off watching the burn and the concocting purity test while zero newcomers can afford the chain is gross. So the cryptocurrency billionaire claims that he has definitely abandoned the second largest cryptocurrency because of how exclusionary it is for its newcomers. Zeus takes issues with the exorbitant fees on the Ethereum blockchain and the unwillingness of some of the most influential voices within the community to address that problem. And again, he's basically saying what we've been saying for at least the past year with Ethereum and the fees are just outrageous and out of control. And not even realizing into this article, I just found it with our wild card. You can now buy Lambo with Shiba Inu in Las Vegas. We just we reported on that yesterday. But I found it very important to notice that even billionaires are saying it's out of control. And back into our wild card, Shiba Inu is 9,000 holders away from reaching 1 million SHIB investors milestone. And then something we've discussed prior, oh man, I'm not even sure, at least it, within the past year, maybe longer, but the U.S. Navy to pilot blockchain-based project to improve medical supply lines. So Consensus Networks uses the IOTEX blockchain to monitor the health of 700,000 U.S. Navy sailors and Marines in real time. But also what we had discussed before was the Simba chain because uh, the military had previously experimented with blockchain tech. The Air Force was one of the first branches to make a contract with blockchain startup. The U.S. Navy then granted Simba chain 10 million USD to develop a secure messaging platform. And Simba has received another 1.5 million USD in 2021. 2021. Let's try that again. 2021 to create a blockchain based solution to enable demand sensing for critical military weaponry parts. And also, too, the CBK governor aims to launch Kenya's CBC. Uh, so, Nigeria's CBDC uh, faces challenges weeks after launch. And this is something also, too, uh, it's an update from what we discussed prior with Brit and Stellar in regards to the CBDC. So central bank digital currency has become a fast adopted phenomenon across countries all over the world. With increasing plans of development, even countries seemingly opposed to crypto are taking the initiative and making huge strides regarding the development of their own central bank backed digital currency. This is because most countries believe that it would serve the population better in terms of faster service compared to the traditional payments methods. And in this regard, Patrick Niroj, the governor of Kenya's central bank, has said that the country is looking into developing its CBDC, and with this, their focus is to develop it right 
instead of being the first to debut it. So again, another article pointing out what I was just saying. It's about getting it right rather than being first. I totally forgot to mute that. Sorry about that, guys. But again, remember, this is not financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. But as always, before we go, I want to leave you with a final thought. Sometimes the wrong choices bring us to the right places. And I want to say thanks to each and every one of you. To me, you are so important and you make every single day amazing. And I want to say again, thanks to our Patreons and to our VIP, Surfmeister. Much love. We will catch you in the next one.